That's me. That's you? Yeah. All right. I don't need to give this man an intro. You better give him your whole heart and soul because he looks better than you could or ever look. You're so tall. This is crazy. Okay, here you go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get ready to chuckle! Well guys, I've deleted my uh, Instagram and my Facebook, and things have been so much more peaceful, not having to look at pictures of ugly dogs and hideous babies. Um, yeah, I've seen enough of that stuff for a lifetime, so. That's what I really like about this offline life. You can really look a person in the eyes and say whatever the fuck you want, pretty much. Especially if you don't mind taking an ass with them. <laughs> My new favorite thing to do when I'm about to get into a fight is let the person know I'm gonna let them beat me up. And trust me, that diffuses the situation. Nobody wants to fight a guy who's not gonna defend himself. <laughs> so next time you get into a fight, he's like, yo, I'm about to beat your motherfucking ass. You say, that's okay, I'll let you beat me up. Watch, he won't want to fight you anymore. Trust me, it works. Or maybe he will. I don't know, I mean, what's the... Okay, anyways. I walked to the bar the other day, and this lady uh, jumped when she saw me. Can you believe that? Yeah, she said, whoa, you're tall. I had the same reaction. I said, whoa, you're fat. Uh, she said, how tall are you? I said, how much do you weigh? She said, you ever think about trying out for the NBA? I said, you ever think about trying out for my 800 pound wife? Rude, right? Can you believe she tried to tall shame me? I would say lock her up, but I doubt they have a cell big enough for that fatty. And speaking of fatty, here's something I never understood. Man's fascination with butt. You guys do know the bigger the stink here, right? Notice most guys that see a lady with a big butt walk in, it's like, woo, damn, she got a fat ass. When I see a lady walk in with one of those diaper booties, I go, ew. If this lady farts, we're gonna have to evacuate the building. Any Netflix fans in the audience? Well, see, I like to call it Nutflix, because nine times out of 10, I'm sitting there flicking my nuts. I mean, I'm sure that's something we all do, right? No? Okay. They got this thing called a Squid Games. All I know is it's got Asians in track suits, so I'm gonna assume it's some kind of break dancing competition. <laughs> you know, those Asians sure can dance. And cook. And fight. I hear they're terrible drivers, so I don't know if the stereotype is true. I hear they can't drive for shit. Um, we got the new Matrix movie coming out. You like Matrix? I hear Keanu Reeves is going all out with this one. There is a major plot twist though, cover your ears if you don't want me to spoil it for you. Neo is transsexual this time around. Yeah. They actually have uh, RuPaul playing the part of Morpheus. Neo, red pill or blue pill, darling. After taking a pill, our hero finds out in order to save the state of the world, he has to kill it on the runway. Crazy, right? And it doesn't stop there. They actually have uh, none other than Caitlyn Jenner playing the role of Agent Smith. As you can see, we've been watching it for quite some time, baby doll. Actually spelled Matrix with two X's this time around. Really looking forward to that. I was surfing the web the other day and came across this. According to a study of 3,000 adults, people that wake up on the left side of the bed are happier and better equipped for the stresses and pressures of everyday life. Whereas people that wake up on the right are likely to be grumpier and have a far more negative outlook. Does this sound like bullshit to you? Yeah. yeah. Well, next grumpy person you see, ask them which side of the bed they sleep on. And if this turns out to be true, couples all over the world are going to be fighting for the left side of the bed. I never like sharing my bed anyway. That's why I'm single. Not because I live with my mommy, because I make women sleep on the floor. I mean, hell, it's hard to fit two people on a twin-size mattress. And I tell you what, if this comedy thing works out, I may even upgrade to a queen-size mattress. Well, let's think about that for a second, guys. Queen size mattress. Do we know any queens that are 80 inches wide? Yes. Take a look at Queen Elizabeth, for example. Okay. She's four feet tall. She weighs 50 pounds. I got a dog figure in her. Just so happen to name her queen, too. Yeah. She's a great dame. I'm a big guy, so I had to get a big dog. You know what is a big, though? 
my penis. That's right. I know, you think a guy like me would be packing them. I think that's why women hook up with me, because they assume I have a big penis. You should see the expression on their face when I whip this thing out. It's the same expression you have when you open up a big bag of chips and you find out it's mostly just air. Um, yeah, they're looking at me like, is this some kind of joke? Uh, when's he gonna bring out the real gig? Yeah, it's crazy. It's like my fingers are actually bigger than you. Too much dick talk. Sorry about the dick talk. And, you know, I want to clarify this and make this clear. Everything I said tonight was true, except for the dick part. That was a, uh, I've got a big penis. All right, well, you guys have a blessed night. Uh, happy Halloween. Okay. Thank you, Julia. Could anybody make an animal joke yet? Yeah. Right. That guy over there. <laughs> that guy covered it. Okay, someone take the Browns player's phone. Let's text his wife.